Good afternoon. I am here today to show you how to record a customized um, report in QuickBooks. In QuickBooks Desktop, um, they refer to it as memorized reports, but in online version, they refer to it as custom reports. Um, two different words for essentially the same end result. So when you log into your QuickBooks, it's going to look probably slightly different than what I have here because I'm running on the accountant version of QuickBooks Online. Um, and it would obviously have some variations if you were doing this from a desktop version. So um, once you're on um, QuickBooks, from the left-hand side menu, you're going to choose Reports. And you can see here that my um, thing went immediately to my custom reports. Um, chances are yours will probably come here to Recommended first, um, but... Uh, mine defaulted here. Yours may also may default somewhere else. So just go through the left or the horizontal menu in that case. And you can see here I have a couple of different reports um, saved. For all of my clients, um, I have different groups and different reports set up based upon the specific client needs. But that's where this type of thing gets so handy um, because in my case, I do create groups, um, for example, um, the monthly group, it's my indication that these are the reports I need to provide to the client every month. I don't have to redo them. All that stuff just makes things so much easier. So one thing, too, that I want to point out, um, this is on QuickBooks Essentials. If you're on the starter kit of QuickBooks, I can't remember the name of it, Simple Start, um, you won't have... Um, as many report options if you're on Simple Start. So at minimum, you may not be able to do some of these reports if you're not working with at least essentials. Um, plus, of course, you certainly have that. So one of two things you can do to find the report that you want. Um, option one would be to go through all reports and go through the different options that are available. So I'm going to for this purposes, I'm going to say business overview, and you can kind of like pick and choose whatever you want. So in this case, I'm going to say balance sheet. Now this is um, a personal bookkeeping account. Uh, so we don't actually care about the balance sheet items. Um, if this were a business, absolutely, we'd care about the balance sheet items. So if you see anything wacky on here, that's the only reason why that's the case. And Essentially, then you want to make whatever modifications you want. So in this case, the report has defaulted. You can see up here in the left hand corner last month, the dates that it's picking, all this stuff, cash accrual, everything. Pick what you want. Do any other customizations that you want. So, for example, I absolutely love having the negative numbers show in parentheses and to show in red. So I love those types of things. Just makes things a lot easier to see. Oh, look at that. Yay, negatives. Um, and then once you've made all the changes that you'd like to make, um, in this case, you know, we're just going to say, you know what, we want to use last year um, for an entire year. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run report so that it updates with the modifications I made. Now I have everything just the way I want. You're just going to go ahead and you're going to click save customization. And then there's a couple of things you want to do. Give the report a name that actually makes sense to you. Um, if this goes to a group, go ahead and add it to a group. In this case, I want this to go to my year-end group. And if I want to share this with anyone else who I've allowed user access or anyone in my firm, I can do that. Um, not relevant in this case, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Now if I go back here, left-hand menu, again, we're going to go to reports going to go to my custom reports and you'll see now that this report is down here so all you have to do now to run this whether you're running it today or three years from now is just click the title and it's automatically going to do that now right now I'm recording this video 2017 so once the calendar rolls over to January 1st 2018 this report because I said last year will automatically update and will automatically give me the information for January 1st, 2017 to December 21st, 17. So that's why you want to pay special attention to how you set these up, particularly that report period, because that will impact 
future times that you're running this report. Okay, so that was way number one. Um, just real quick recap. I went to all reports. I found the report I wanted. I customized, saved it. Now, another thing that you can do, now sometimes this works great, other times it doesn't, um, but if it works, absolutely awesome. So in order to do this next way, you need to know the name of the report that QuickBooks calls it. So um, in this case, I'm going to say a piece. You just start, I apologize, I went a little bit too fast. In the upper right-hand corner in the search box, you're going to start typing in the name. And you can see here, aging detail, aging summary, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Um, this starts pulling things up. So let's just say vendor. Here we go. Transaction list by vendor. Okay, it automatically chose this month to date, but let's pretend that I want this entire year to date. Um, and again, this is going to modify itself automatically next year. Let's think in here. Okay, so it's went ahead, it's pulled up every single vendor that's been paid this year um, from January 1st through today, November 18th. It puts them alphabetically, as you can see, et cetera, et cetera. We don't care so much about the actual report, just to how to go about getting the report. And then again, customize anything you want to customize and then go ahead, save customizations and you're done. In this case, I don't actually want to save this, so I'm not going to, um, but that's how you would go about doing that. All right, so I hope this has been helpful. And of course, if you have any questions, send me a message through my contact page and you could help me out with, um, ideas for future videos and blog posts. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a great day.